The place and time in which we were born can determine the course of our lives forever. But is that just it? Don't we have a choice to change this? I was born in Syria. I lived my whole life there until I finished my college. Staying in Syria would mean that I had to join the army and take part in that dirty war. And that was absolutely not a choice for me. Therefore, in 2015, I chose to leave the country. At that time, having a visa was almost impossible for a Syrian. Luckily, I ended up getting a visa to Ireland. In theory, I knew about Ireland and how kind and loving the Irish people are. But it was still a jump to the unknown, as I've never traveled that far from Syria. The farthest was to Lebanon. It was an uncharted journey. The plan was to leave my home country, but no plans whatsoever once I'm out of it. I sought asylum in Dublin airport, and I was transferred to a temporary accommodation. And I was advised to start working on some paperwork so I can attain a recognized refugee status, which takes a long time to process. But without it, I wouldn't be able to legally work in the state. So my only choice was to start building games, which is something I always loved. And that's what happened. In a couple of months time, I was able to publish my first mobile game. It was totally an original game and a great starting point and a learning curve when it comes to building a project from scratch, monetizing it with ads and advertising it online and all that stuff. However, after I received my refugee status in Ireland, naturally, I started seeking work and job opportunities as I needed an immediate income to be able to live there comfortably. Fortunately, I was able to secure a contract job in Facebook Dublin right after having my residence permit in hand. Long story short, I changed jobs so often, from Facebook to Apple to Google and finally LinkedIn. I even started my own e-commerce store in 2016. However, there was something always holding me back. Basically, I couldn't really adjust without doing what I love. And the two things I've always loved was music and game development. And doing none of these was a nightmare on its own. Hence, in 2020, I decided to leave everything behind and build a new life doing the things that I'm passionate about. Coming closer to my dreams and building the vision that I want. The issue is once you've been accustomed to a 9-to-5 job for some time, it's a bit difficult once you're out of it. So, I started experimenting with different scopes, from playing on my guitar and publishing YouTube videos, to developing automated algorithm that trades stocks and forex, and even meditating. In any case, I needed to find something that I authentically wanted to do, something combines the different aspects that interest me. And at the same time, that thing needs to pay me the bills, right? And I was attracted to the blockchain and NFTs. The technology behind fascinated me. So I started working on a gaming project that involves the blockchain technology. In simple terms, a gaming studio utilizing crypto and blockchain. And I always had the idea of having the sort of games where both players and company earn and share the revenue. Crypto and blockchain was the only solution to fulfill that dream. So last June in 2021, I built Falafel Coin, a project to make such games and at the same time allowing people to purchase and trade Falafel tokens. The project is also a tribute for Syrians and Palestinians, and I will be donating a part of the revenue to the displaced people of the Middle East. I've recently created a tiny game under that project. Look, I always loved Hamas and Dragons, so I call it Hamas and Dragons which was the first crypto game to officially get listed on mobile stores such as the Apple App Store and Google Play. I've also composed the game music and that's where the business completely fulfilled my passion. Now, I'm aiming for a bigger game, fully original in terms of gameplay and characters. And it's gonna be also dedicated to the Middle Eastern market which was forgotten all the time when it comes to gaming and the gaming industry. The hero or the main character of that upcoming game is going to be a woman, 
who was leaving her country with her family in an arduous journey with other refugees. I chose a female character because I know that being an immigrant has its harsh realities, but being a woman on top of it would have been definitely harder. So this game is going to be a tribute to all the women who went through such hardship, whether from Syria, Palestine, Afghanistan, or any part of the world. This game hero will represent you and hopefully shed more light on such atrocities. To accommodate different projects, whether they are metaverse games, music, or blockchain related, I have created Spiral Entertainment as a parent company to combine all different projects and let them support each other. My name is Muhammad. I want to thank you for your time and I hope you are able to contribute to this project and take part in this vision. I'll be posting updates through this channel. So be sure to subscribe and tune in.